Yes, sir. It's your boy JT, and I'm back again with another video today. Uh, before we get into this video, make sure you guys hit the like button. Make sure you guys subscribe. Make sure you guys continue to show love. If you haven't already, make sure you hit the notifications so you can be notified when my videos do go live because you know YouTube be on a bullshit. But anyway, hope you guys enjoy the video. Let's get to the intro. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are back again with another Madden 24 Ultimate Team video today, of course. Yes. In today's video, we're gonna be doing a overall update. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, we have finally hit. So this will be my third year hitting 99 overall in Madden, of course. Um, so a disclaimer before we get into this, of course, when it comes to this team, you don't particularly need gold 99s at every position but you do need 99 overalls at every position so even if they don't it, even if you can kim them out to 99 that still works but you don't necessarily need gold 99s to create to get a 99 overall in the game but you just need 99 overalls in each position so um let's not waste no more time let's get straight into it so of course i did do a 98 overall team update maybe two weeks ago um, so it's a couple of videos back. So if you do want to check that video out first and then come back, because I did make a, I did make a few changes, not going to lie. And I'm probably going to make a few more changes moving forward too. So wouldn't be surprised, but this is currently right now, this is going to be the 99 overall squad I do have right now. Now I may make an update video later on, but this is probably gonna be the final video. Um, but this is what it is. So we got our 99 overall squad here, 99 offense, 99 defense, uh, chiefs playbook on defense and then spread offense of course spread playbook as my offensive playbook but as you can see you can see my top players there let's go ahead and get into the lineup here so this is going to be the so this is going to be the offense so i'm gonna let you guys know how i have it set up so starting from the offensive line um essentially what you really want to go with secure protectors across the board so from left tackle left guard center right guard right tackle you want secure attackers so secure protectors on the o-line you want to get as many of those as possible if you can get them at zero ap that is the best thing possible to do as well as um pairing up all day with secure protectors especially on your guards and center and right guard are a very great combo um because they do hold a little longer when it when you're going against people that have those x factor abilities that are active on the d line so they actually hold a lot and um on my tackles i do have secure protectors and i have edge protectors as well because the edge protectors and a secure protector kind of balance themselves out and they help as well on the edges so um i do have that on my ronnie staley and my of course lane johnson but this is my old line uh ronnie staley quinn nelson tyler lindebaum zach martin and Lane Johnson, of course. So it's about three AP on the O line, um, but that's just because of certain abilities and stuff. And honestly, um, how I have it on offense set up, this is pretty much how I have it set up. Now, if we go to the Kims over here, I'm gonna bring up the Kims real fast. Um, I do have 26 out of 30 NFL combines, 26 out of 30 Cowboys, and then I do have some motivator stuff that that affects some ratings and stuff. But um, it doesn't really matter because most of these players are are gold 99s anyway. So it doesn't really matter now moving on to my tight ends as you can see i got trent williams he's a fullback so um he's actually the theme team all-stars fullback that just dropped so he's actually a fullback but if you actually put him in the tight end position he goes to a 99 overall like this card is this card in the fullback position is a 97 but in the tight end position he's a 99 and he's literally this is trent williams so he's the office alignment at at literally tight end and he gets route tech so on this trent williams he gets route tech um he gets backfield master and he gets vanguard and, and i put vanguard on him for one ap so to get route tech vanguard and he's an offensive lineman as well and he can run block and especially with my spread offense i do a lot of rpos i run the ball a lot so having another offensive line at tight end that can also run routes too that's op and have vanguard that's op as hell and then of course i have jc latham he's another right tackle that they gave him an out of position card um so he has i'm pretty sure he has nasty streak on him yeah he has nasty streak post up and then i got secure secure protector on him as well so very good options at tight end that can literally bulldoze you in the run game or they can if you need them to catch a route or two if you need them to run around and catch a ball or two you can he can they can do that as well 
Then I got Jordan Reed at the third tight end spot with the times three. Cowboys Kim, he's just there for the Kims, honestly. Um, he may make the field every now and again, but that's how my offense online, that's how my tight ends are set up. Now my wide receivers. My number one thing when it comes to wide receivers, I wanna get as many zero route techs as possible. Now with the receivers, now in this meta, um, a lot of the tall receivers are kind of not really the go-to, even though some of the bigger names like the Calvin Johnsons, um, the, um, you know, some of the bigger names, Larry Fitzgerald, some of the bigger receivers aren't really the go-to because everybody has KOs on the field. So some reason it's programmed in the game to where those bigger receivers, when they go for possession catches, they have this weird animation where essentially the AKAs automatically trigger and for the smaller receivers, um, typically they have better animations than the bigger receivers. So um, my whole thing is wide receivers, route tech is my number one go-to for any receiver. And most of my receivers are a lot shorter. So they're not 6'4", 6 6'5". 6 they're mostly from six foot to 6'2". So I got, um, I got Dobbs at one, I got Tyreek Hill in the slot, and then I have uh, Devontae Smith as well on the outside so all these players do get route tech for zero ap and they get some additional abilities like jukebox as well as um the dobbs the theme team all-star cards of course their x factors start on and for certain positions they all get certain abilities so they all get the same ability bucket so that's why i kind of switched up my receivers a little bit because they all they, they can all get these abilities for the theme team all-stars they all get the same ability buckets and you can literally mix and match and stuff. So that's why I was like, okay, you know what? Let me just get off this Calvin and get off the other receivers and switch it up. So I got Dobbs and I got Devontae, Devontae Smith, which are which have been really, really good. And then I got Tyreek Hill in the slot. Now the rest of the abilities outside of Route Tech are kind of additional, like Jukebox, Human Joystick. Um, you know, those are the abilities I have on my receivers because those are just additional things. So, but Route Tech is really the main thing you really want to go for. So that's what I have on my team. Now, running back wise, honestly, there's tons of there's ton, there's tons of running backs in the game, but partic particularly, I got Travis Etienne. Like I said, he gets a uh, ability bucket with a lot of abilities that are that are available and that are for zero AP. So I do have Human Joystick and Jukebox on him, and then I have Freight Train as his X Factor. But you can go with anybody. You can go with the Dagon. Um, they have a new the fridge Perry running back, but he's like a, over a million coins. You can go with the, the ring of honor. I forgot his name running back. You, you can go with him. You can go with Adrian Peterson. It's tons of running backs. So it's all preference, but I just decided to go with Travis Etienne. He gets the X factor. He gets jukebox and then human joystick, um, backup Saquon Barkley, Darren McFadden as well. And most of these are just for Kim purposes only. Now my quarterback, in my opinion, the best quarterback in the game is Lamar Jackson. Um, he has truths, considering that I run a lot of RPOs, read options. Um, he has truths, pass lead elite, which I love on my quarterbacks. I don't like set feet lead because you have to be still. You have to have your feet set. I would want to move around a little bit, and I want to throw on the run sometimes. So I got pass lead elite, gunslinger, um, got gift wrapped, of course, for the high balls and low balls as well evasive of course built in for zero and then i have running guns so essentially lamar jackson in my opinion is the best quarterback in the game so he's gonna be my quarterback one fullback i have what is his name okoye um and he comes out to a 99 because he does get some ratings boosted so um he doesn't have much on him he has goal line back and he has jukebox but he he very rarely makes the field um so he's just there for a 99 so this is how my offense is across the board 99s, gold 99s, except for my fullback, but he's still a 99 at the end of the day because he got chemmed out to be 99. But this is going to be my offense. All right, and then, of course, I do have X-Factors on Devontae and Dobbs, too. I have max security because that, that can kind of help a little bit with the KOs. Um, so I got that as well. But this is going to be my offense. Now we're moving on to defense here. Now defense, there's a lot of beef on defense. I made some changes as well. So we're going to start at the top. So safeties, I have the Antoine Winfield Jr. and then I have Troy Palomalu. Um, you want to go with as many KOs, deep out zones, mid zones. You want to go as go with as many of those as possible. If you're going to go safeties or any corners, you, that's 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 the goal. Um, my defense, I'm a very hybrid defense. I play man and I play play zone. So I want to have abilities that can help in zone, and I want to have abilities that help in man as well because I do play both. So that's what I'm going for. 
So I do have some deep out zone KOs and mid zones on Antoine Winfield. Yeah, I got deep out zone and then I have mid zone. Um, Kims don't really matter. They're already 99, so it don't really matter about the Kims or the attributes, really. Um, then I have Rashad Jones, and then I have Justin Simmons as the backup safeties because they do have the um, combine Kim. So they're really good backup safeties. So if I do need to run big nickel or anything like that, quarters or anything, they'll probably make the field and help out. Um, and then, of course, Troy Palomalu on the other side. He's a 99. Um, like I said, he has some deep KOs. He got pick artists deep zone ko and he has mid zone ko so if he does come up in the mid part of the field and on defense then he can then that can activate now linebackers same thing with linebackers you definitely want to have lurk artists and you definitely want to have mid zone ko and then if you can add an avalanche in there every now and again because that's becoming a the meta then that's a good thing too as well but i do have Derek brooks ray lewis bobby wagner which was free from the field pass and then i have this other guy from theme team all-stars and his name is, I don't know, let me see, Drew Tranquil. So like I said, Drew Tranquil, he, he has a ability buckets that have a lot of abilities, so he has access to them. And he gets Lurk Artists and Mid-Zone KO. Most of my linebackers have Lurk Artists and Mid-Zone KO. And between Derrick Brooks and Ray Lewis, uh, Ray Lewis has Avalanche for zero, so that's just an additional ability on top of the Lurk Artists and the Mid-Zones. And then of course, um, Derrick Brooks has an additional thing as well where he gets, I pretty much decided to put a flat zone KO on him as well for zero AP. So he gets flat zone and mid zone. So he's pretty good there. But that's how my linebackers are set. And then the Bobby Wagner, he's free from the field pass. Um, Lurk artist and mid zone KO. And then my backups are just based, basically um, on the kickoff. They, they're they just fillers for, the, for, the, for my Cowboys cam or for combine or something like that. Now, going to my cornerbacks. So my cornerbacks, like I said, I'm looking for man and zone corners. So I want man and zone abilities. So mainly across the board, when it comes to the cornerbacks, they have man and zone abilities. So if you look at this first corner, JC Horn, of course he gets flat zone, he gets medium route KO, he gets mid zone KO. So like I said, it's a mixture of zone and man abilities so that they are able to be versatile. So, like I said, I like my KOs. So, if I'm running man coverage, I don't want to not have KOs because I'm playing man. So, I decided to put on, you know, a man medium route KO as well as mid zone. So, that's going to be pretty much straightforward across because the JC Horn, the Jadarius White, and the Rasul Douglas, they're all theme, theme team all stars. So, their ability buckets are the same. So, I literally put the same thing on every, on every last one of these corners essentially and of course they do have x factors so if i do want to use the x factors i put um what is the name of it actually it is called i put universal coverage on my two cornerbacks so they can play even better and they start on two so it's just an additional thing to put on them but like i said they're very versatile they can play man and zone so that's why i have them there next we got the defensive line so got more 99s here we, of course we know aaron donald's the best right in in the game essentially so uh momentum shift is one of those abilities uh, i'm kind of thinking about switching off of this ability i'm not gonna lie because of how there's a lot of cards in game now that their abilities already start on so it's kind of essentially not really worth it anymore because a lot of people are not running the nfl combine abilities or the abilities that charge up six seven eight plays so i don't i'm kind of going back and forth whether i should keep this or not but Aaron Donald, the best right in in the game. Um, he gets inside stuff, you know, secure tacklers. Mostly on the D-line, what you want to get is many secure tacklers, as many inside zones. Honestly, you really don't want to spend any AP on deep on your defensive line at all because it's kind of a waste of AP, in my opinion. So you want to get as many. Um, I got John Randall here. He has a built-in X-Factor ability in the ability spot. For us, um, it is unstoppable force, even though you know there are secure protectors out there so of course these abilities are negated because of that but that's okay though it's better to have them than to not have them um but and then of course i have um javon hargrave here like i said um they get they the dts the themes team all-stars have the same ability buckets so i'm able to get film study in, in inside zone so film study is kind of a bonus um to have and then i got jj watt he has a built-in x factor that that is in the ability spot which is run stopper and then of course I got secure and I don't really need inside zone for him because he has run stopper and, and pretty much inside zone is the same thing as run stopper. So I got him there, but 
all the backups, like I said, have to do with the Kims to keep the Kims together um, with the with the combine, and the Cowboys, and then the other motivator stuff. So that's just pretty much how it's set up. But as far as the defense across the board, 99s, as you can see, 99s across the board, gold 99s. Like I said, you don't have to have gold 99s, but you just have to have 99s in that position. Now, of course, special teams is where the uh, um, two new cars are gonna come up. So. Like I said from my last video that I needed to get two players in order to get this to 919. So I had to go out and get um, the Scottish Hammer and then I had to get Justin Tucker um, in order to get this 919 because I didn't have a 99 kicker, but I had a 99 punter. So essentially um, the Hammer, he pretty much boosts this. He has his AKA ability where he boosts kickers, right outside linebackers and, and left outside linebackers. And he's able to boost my kicker, kick power by one. So essentially I got Justin Tucker and he helps Justin Tucker get to a 99. So that's how pretty much I got to a 99 overall. And of course, specialist, you see how it's uh, fixed up to be. Got JJ Watt, John Randall, Aaron Donald on the field, Trey Davis White in the slot. My users are Ray Lewis, because I love the Avalanche. And as well as I picked up this Jordan Mulata, because he's like 6'8. And then he has built in Avalanche as well. And he gets mid zone KO. So that's kind of really, really glitchy there. And then the slot Tyreek Hill. And then, like I said, my strategy items. I do have route tree for my offense, lockdown for my defense, NFL combine. That doesn't really matter. That's just there. Cowboys, of course. And then Chiefs defense and then spread offense. And then, of course, my coaches. Coaching strategy item will be one plus awareness. And then my other would be um, for the, looks like cornerbacks, one plus zone coverage. So that's just a little extra to add on to everything but this is going to be pretty much my 99 overall team so like i said i did hit it again and this will be my third year of hitting this as well and that's just pretty much it so let me know down in the comment section if you guys do have any other questions or if you guys as far as rate my team one to ten let me know down in the comment section as well but if you guys enjoyed the video make sure you guys hit the like button make sure you guys subscribe make sure you guys continue to show love and we'll catch you guys on the next one